Hi, I'm Chef Osborne, and this is Erica Jolene. We're with Keller Williams Metro Center. Today, we're with the Alexandria Chamber of Commerce. Today, we're at the Alexandria Chamber of Commerce with Angela and Joe. Well, we're glad to have you here with us. I am Angela Hartley, and I am the 2022 Chair of the Alexandria Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Joe Haggerty. I'm CEO of the Alexandria Chamber of Commerce. For everybody out there, what does Chamber of Commerce do? That's a great question. Thank you so much for asking that. The Chamber of Commerce in Alexandria truly is the cornerstone of the business community in Alexandria. We're an advocacy-based membership organization that really fosters business within our city. We have, a, we have 700 members of the Chamber, and they range from small businesses that are very unique to the city of Alexandria, to Fortune 500 companies, to realtors, to restaurants, to healthcare organizations and associations and nonprofits. So Joe, can you tell us about some of the programs that the Chamber does? Yes, yeah, so the best way to think about it is three program areas. One is advocacy, one is networking, and one is just helping businesses. So advocacy for us means protecting businesses for, uh, in terms of regulations and new laws. So we deal with the city councils, we deal with county bo uh, boards, and we also deal with the state legislators in terms of the legislation they're passing. And we either support it or we recommend changes to help businesses. We do a lot of networking events. We do over 80 events a year for people to come together and meet, meet each other. Uh, many of those are new, new people, new businesses to the community and they wanna meet people. And then finally, we, when a business has a particular problem, we just help them with it. They may have a uh, problem with parking or signage or uh, working on permits to change the buildings. We'll literally one-on-one -on -one walk down to City Hall with them and help them. So, so Joe, great. you mentioned about programs and events. Can you give a little bit more detail on what that entails? So most of our events are around recognizing individuals in the community that are involved in business in one way or another. So we thank uh, firefighters, 911 operators, and police. We call that the Hall Awards. And we do, that's a public meeting. People are invited to see them. And these are all people who have done unusual things helping people in the community. Uh, we have business awards where businesses compete to get the best business in the community. We have seven different categories. That's a fun event that we do in the evening, and um, it's kind of like the Oscars. No one knows who's gonna win, we call them up, and uh, afterwards we have a, a, a bit of a party to celebrate. Uh, we also recognize young leaders, so we have 40 under 40, so uh, looking at a wide variety of people who are doing great things in their companies, and recognize them, and uh, again, that's another big event because we have all the honorees there, plus we have a number of guests that are visiting, and they are, it's just a big crowd and also they, they enjoy it, it's professionally done and they get to thank and, and really honor their friends who have gotten awards that day. So lots of things recognizing people and then lots of networking events. Can you talk a little bit more about the chamber and how it's structured? I'd be happy to. We have a five person staff headed up by Joe, a professional staff that does the work of a lot more than five people to pull off all of these fantastic events that we have every year. Uh, we also have a 30 member volunteer board of directors. I'm the chair this year, uh, made up really representing the diversity in the community of Alexandria. 